Welcome to Authentic Walk with God. This is Peter and Lemadin Don Wachukun, your brother and friend. Two weeks ago, we discussed the importance of God's watch over our lives. Last week, we talked about what Jesus said about prayer. Today, we want to tie these two topics together as we discuss the topic, Come to my aid, O God. God is constantly watching over our lives, providing us with security, material, as well as spiritual needs. The psalmist said, God neither sleeps nor slumbers. This means we are safe and secure in his hands every moment of our lives, no matter what happens. However, there may be some times when God may allow some bad things to happen to the life of a Christian. On this earthly side of our existence, we do not understand why he allows these bad things to happen. Addressing this enigma, Apostle Paul said, and I quote, Now we see but a poor reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. We see this in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 12. The answer to the question, why does God sometimes allow bad things to happen to his children, belongs to God alone. But there is no doubt that he loves us dearly, that he cares for us, and that he wants us to be protected and be provided for. Therefore, we must not relent in our prayers to him for intervention in our various predicaments. Please join me now as I read today's Bible passage. It is Psalm Division 69, verses 1 to 6. I read, Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in the merry depths where there is no foothold. I have come into the deep waters. The floods engulf me. I am worn out calling for help. My throat is parched. My eyes fell, looking for my God. Those who hate me without reason outnumber the hairs on my head. Many are my enemies without cause, those who seek to destroy me. I am forced to restore what I did not steal. You know my folly, O Lord. My guilt is not hidden from you. May those who hope in you not be disgraced because of me, O Lord, the Lord Almighty. May those who seek you not be put to shame because of me, O God of Israel. Has anybody in the past set you up in any way? Has a trap been set for you anywhere, anytime? How did you come out from such dangerous situations? In one of the previous podcasts, we learned that if God watched over you, your enemies would lose any battle planned against you. This was demonstrated very well in the life of David in his fight against Goliath, in King Saul's envy against him, and in Absalom's plot against him. In a passage of scripture we just read, David cries to God to save him from afflictions he does not deserve. I do not know what you are presently going through in your personal life, in your marriage, 
in your career and in your various relationships, both with significant and non-significant others. But one thing is sure, no matter how horrible your experience may be, the assurance you have from God is this. My son, my daughter, I'm watching over you. I will aid you to experience victory and triumph. I will aid you to experience success. And I will aid you to experience genuine prosperity. Yes, God will not allow your enemies to put you to shame. God will dislodge those traps set against you. God will rewrite those untrue stories about your life and behavior to reflect your true life story. Your enemies will eventually be put to shame. This is my suggestion. Simply pray to this holy God in the privacy of your home, in the privacy of your office, in the privacy of your shop or store. And let this prayerful conversation be between you and God alone. He who sees in secret will reward you in public. Thank you for your time today. May God bless you abundantly. It has been your usual brother and friend, Peter Lemadin Domachiku, Director, Center for Family Life and Pastoral Care, Owere, Nigeria. Bye for now.